in today's video we are going to discuss about various apps that are available in microsoft 365 environment i hope by this time uh, you must have been either sign up or you have a license in microsoft 365 any license whatever you have and i will show you also in the admin center what are the apps that are available on uh, you know for a particular license and we will go through a overview of different apps and also as a SharePoint developer, if you want to build your career in SharePoint, then what are the various apps that we are going to work with or you should know, those things we will discuss. Now, uh, before going to various apps and services, just to uh, tell you that whenever you will take for a license, then you will get Microsoft 365 apps for your PC, Mac, iOS and Android as well. So uh, you will get the desktop version of uh, you know various Microsoft 365 apps. For example, you will get uh, you know Outlook Online your desktop. You can install a Office application, and you will be able to access your Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, you know Word Online. All these things you will get access in your uh, you know desktop as well. You don't need to buy any separate license for it. And also you will get one TB of storage, uh, one drive storage where you can uh, store your files and you can access it anywhere, anytime uh, from your one drive for business. And then most importantly, you will get access or you can install these apps or you can guess, get access to this Microsoft 365 apps in uh, five mobile devices and uh, five tablets, five PCs and or you can say the Mac users also. So you will get all these things. That means once you take any license for the user, the user can install or can access the Microsoft 365 in five mobile devices, tablets, uh, PCs and Mac also. And as Microsoft is saying, uh, you know, you will be able to get a lot of new features almost every month on all the apps. So Microsoft is investing a lot of money will you will see that uh, you know you'll see a lot of features that are coming on throughout all these apps there are a lot of apps are there so you will get new features every month and then also of course support will be there where you can talk with the team and uh, uh, you can resolve your uh, you know issues now what we will do is we will go to the system and then i will show you what are the various apps are available and we will see how we can get access to those apps as well and if you are new to this uh, SharePoint and you want to learn SharePoint from the beginning, then uh, try considering joining our uh, you know training course. I'll put a link in the video description where you'll get to know everything about SharePoint development. So now let's go to the system and we will see it. Now oh, first let let me show you how we can access uh, this page. And before that, I'll show you MSD links where you can get all the apps so you can see here this is the link i'll put in the you know video description where you can see it so here you will be able to see all these apps now let me uh, tell you that whenever you will have uh, you know you signed up for it and then you uh, you know you can go to admin.microsoft.com and then it will open the admin center okay admin center for microsoft 365 and on this again if you don't have access so don't worry like uh, you'll not you might not have access to everything but first thing if you'll see here when you will come here you will see this is the home page and uh, this is what installed the microsoft 365 desktop app so from here you can download and install let's say you want to uh, you know download in this laptop then you can do it from here so that your you know desktop apps uh, you can you'll be able to use word excel powerpoint all these things right and next is when you click on this app launcher by the way if you have access to any of the application this app launcher will be available so this will change based on your permission now you can see here i have permission so i can see uh, you know all these things almost and you see here more apps is there so here it is showing me a popular uh, apps on this and then if i'll click on more apps i'll be able to see a lot of apps here so now look at this you can see here like see these are the apps which are available on this right now uh, first thing is uh, let me tell you a couple of apps uh, you know what they are doing and uh, uh, you know how you it, it will be helpful for you 
uh, first you can see here microsoft forms so you can uh, collect the data for from your or you know anyone like suppose you can create surveys you can create polls quiz so this is very simple to use you can just uh, you know it will also show you uh, you know intelligent support so you will say let's say you are uh, taking a feedback for a meeting so it will show you some of the option uh, in that so it will be super easy to create a survey form or quiz like this so next one is the calendar so calendar you can uh, create meetings so you can schedule all these things so you can do this uh, next you can see here engage see this is actually a part of microsoft viva so if you don't know about this you can see here if i'll go here i'll just open viva here and uh, you see viva is uh, basically uh, you know look at this you can create an engaged and productive work uh, workforce on this you can improve your employee engagement you can connect with your uh, you know employees uh, from from you know anywhere and uh, most importantly viva is not about just one thing so if you'll just start with it let me just open it once so if you can see here and you will see a lot of things on this so viva amplify viva connections uh, you know engage so all viva goals all these things are there and uh, bottom line on this thing is to provide uh, you know content for your users so uh, so that you know it will create an engaging environment so that is what is the mainly the viva is about and uh, for example you can uh, you know amplify if you use then you can uh, you know it will help you to create uh, or send uh, you know messages to uh, or send communication through different channels like your sharepoint teams uh, uh, you know emails like this so uh, we'll separately discuss about all these things but this is what it is and then stream uh, this is for uh, you know video platform so where you can uh, you know all your meeting recordings videos so that is that will be used on that so this is your uh, uh, you know video platform on this video you can uh, you know visually you can uh, create a lot of diagrams all these things to do so this is your uh, to do list here yeah, this is quite popular uh, this is your to do list app where it will it will show you smartly how you can uh, plan uh, you know it's kind of your daily planner and it will be available on desktop and uh, mobile both you can manage and share your list with uh, you know other users as well and then there is booking so bookings uh, this is an app where you can schedule and manage your appointments and every time you will create uh, one appointment uh, a meeting link will be there so that people can uh, you know join the virtually from anywhere and uh, this is integrated with microsoft uh, 365 calendar as well so that your customers will find uh, um, you know slots which is available instead of uh, uh, you know uh, duplicate having any duplicate issues on that same way you can see here microsoft list uh, so it will allow user to create share and track uh, data inside a list and uh, it is quite similar uh, like you know say if you are using sharepoint list then all the features will be like this so you can create a list and you can customize all the list uh, uh, and you can visually make it attractive so they have this is different apps uh, not like sharepoint list but a lot of features you will get on that sharepoint yeah you can uh, this is you know where as a sharepoint developer will be uh you know uh, we'll work with and uh, you can create a website you can share documents all these things you can do on this and then power automate you can see here um, if you want to send emails automate your task then this is quite important planner you can uh, you know organize or you can um, assign tasks so uh, planner is uh, you know very effective app which will be used for creating or managing your task at one place so um, you know it will be you can access all your task my task all these things you can do on this and then uh, you know microsoft loop so microsoft loop where uh, you know it will have pages where you don't need to navigate to other apps to access anything it will display you or you can get suggestions from that right so uh, power pages so this is where you can create pages for uh, you know products and and these things you can do on this so same way there are other apps are which are available on on this uh, uh, you know entirely on that and uh, let me show you this home page there are a couple of apps you can see here one is uh, you know the co-pilot that uh, 
uh, that everyone might have been you know that everyone is talking about uh, this one so this is your ai assistant which uh, you know which will help you um, you know to give you suggestions or it will if if you can this one is integrated with everything like teams outlook uh, you know word excel powerpoint everywhere it is so this will help you in uh, you know uh, it will have save a lot of time but again it's a licensing so just have a note on it and then uh, if you'll see here there is one note uh, you can see this is the one note app where you can take notes and again it has a copilot enabled so you can uh, you know you can use that so that it will make or it will design a prompt for you and you can um, you know it will make a list for you if you want and the next change is for mail al calendar so uh, you know that is uh, important uh, all your mails um, communication calendar and you see here one drive so one drive will you will get storage where you can upload files you can share with other so that is a 1 tb of storage that i said you will get it on that then microsoft teams quite popular uh, you know all your chats uh, share files uh, you can do audio call video call all these things you can do on teams Skyjala again. Uh, now this is already retired, so I know you are moving to Teams, so that's not uh, quite important. And then as a SharePoint developer, so I'll show you some of the apps which as a SharePoint developer you should know, like SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, of course, um, because a lot of approvals you'll do. You can do all these things through Teams as well. Power apps, you can design forms, apps, uh, you can build quickly apps on that without much coding knowledge. Power Automate, you can. automate all your business processes power bi you can display reports uh, you know visually attractive reports from the data from sharepoint list from excel all these things you can do power pages you can create pages for your product and you can showcase copilot studio where you can ch make chatbots kind of things and then microsoft forms as i said uh, but this is as a sharepoint developer also you'll use sometimes people wants to tweak or automate some of the processes which they are let's say i'm trying to take feedback and based on the feedback i want to send emails to some people say so then in those cases i will require forms and power automate both microsoft list also uh, um, you know if you really don't need you know document management features or sharepoint features and you want to just have information you want to store on that and you can um, uh, you know you can also use auto power automate with that so as long as you just need information in terms of list then you can use microsoft list as well then outlook we of course required sir uh, stream we required for videos things and one drive for business of of course we required this as well so as a sharepoint developer on the first part of it definitely we are required and this is you should have knowledge on that so uh, in the upcoming videos we will uh, you know go in deeper on all the apps so that you will get to know what exactly this apps are doing i just wanted to give you an overview of that and what before you know signing up these things so you will get to know what are the features or things that are available and based on that you can plan for it so thank you and uh, do like and subscribe to our channel uh, so that you will get notification on the videos that we will make